Hello guys, in this tutorial we wanna give these images some style to make them thumbnail shape like this. Let's see how. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is adding UL selector and make it middle aligned and justified. Inside SRC app and our home component, you need to go to the CSS file of our component. Let's close this. Okay, now we need to write UL and its display should be flex and justify content should be center to make it center horizontally by default and align items to make it centered vertically and flex wrap wrap to try not compress all item inside the single line. And now we need to remove that circle in the left side of UL by setting this list style type to none and padding zero. Okay, because they have default padding. Okay, let's look at the result. As you can see, it's center aligned. That's what we want. Okay, let's check this one. Okay, we need to add an A tag. We didn't add it inside the previous video. That was a fault from me and I need to add it here because each thumbnail should be also an A tag, an anchor tag. To go to the food page, let's do that. Here we need to go to the home component and close the explorer and write A. We need to put this inside here. In the next episode, all the items about the food will be placed here, but now we only have an image and we just want to put that inside this A tag. It will go nowhere because we didn't implement the food page. After implementing the food page, there will be a router link that will move us to the food page. Okay, let's get back to the bullet points. Done. Now we need to add our A selector to the home component and we need to limit its width and height to make our images a little bit smaller and thumbnail shape okay let's go here inside home component css here we need to say li a every single a tags inside the li's we need to limit their bits and height their height should be 20 ram it will be 20 times to the 16 pixel font size of root element that is our html default font size but we want to make it explicit to make it more predictable okay width should be 20 ram and a score shape, get border should be one pixel solid and white smoke. The next thing is border radius should be one RAM, 16 pixel and margin should be eight pixel or half a RAM. It should be a flex and the flex direction should be column because it should be shown from top to bottom, not from left to right, okay? And overflow should be hidden, okay? And the color should be this color, the theme color. Okay, let's look at the results. We have these beautiful thumbnail shape images. And if you have any question that they, we only have radius at the top, you should know that if you inspect this, you can see that the A tag is much bigger than the image, okay? So the image will not meet the bottom part of the A tag, so it will not get that for the radius. That's the answer. Let's go to the bullet points. Now we need to go to the styles.css and set the HTML font size to the 16 pixel to make RAM unit more predictable. Let's go inside the styles.css. Close this, and here at the top, before the body, I want to add an HTML tag, set the font size to 16 pixel, and that's it. Close this. It will not make any difference because by default, the font size of HTML is 16 pixel, but I just like to make it more explicit, okay? Here, I want to add hover effect to the anchor tags. Here, let's say li a hover opacity 90%. Okay. Let's change the cursor also. Let's make it pointer. Okay. Cursor should be pointer. Whenever we move our mouse, it will be pointer shape. I like this more. Okay. We did this part. 
In the next part, we will add the food details to these thumbnails. So stay tuned for the next part.